Travel through time as we explore the defining moments of the 1960s, each year brimming with monumental events that shaped our world. January 1, 1960, Cameroon emerges from French rule, marking a significant stride in African independence. February 1, the civil rights movement ignites with a sit-in campaign in Greensboro, North Carolina. February 3rd, Prime Minister Harold Macmillan's Wind of Change speech in South Africa reflects the shifting political landscape. February 5th, Geneva activates the first CERN particle accelerator, propelling scientific discovery. February 13th, France's atomic bomb test in the Sahara demonstrates its growing nuclear capabilities. March 6th, the U.S. deepens its involvement in Vietnam, deploying 3,500 soldiers. March 21st, the Sharpeville massacre in South Africa starkly exposes the brutality of apartheid. April 1st, the U.S. introduces Tyros-1, its pioneering weather satellite. April 27th, Togo jubilantly celebrates its independence from France. May 1st, a U-2 spy plane is dramatically shot down over Soviet airspace. May 9, 1960, the FDA approves the revolutionary birth control pill. May 11th, Israeli agents daringly capture Nazi war criminal Adolf Eichmann. June 30th, Congo breaks free from Belgian colonial rule, celebrating its independence. August 19th, the Soviet Union launches Sputnik 5, advancing the space race. September 26th, Kennedy and Nixon engage in the first televised U.S. presidential debate, a landmark in political communication. October 1st, Nigeria declares its independence from British rule amidst nationwide celebrations. October 12, 1960, Luna 3 uncovers the mysterious far side of the moon. November 2nd, Penguin Books emerges victorious in the Lady Chatterley's Lover trial, a win for literary freedom. November 8th, John F. Kennedy is elected the 35th President of the United States. November 28th, Mauritania joins the wave of decolonization, gaining independence from France. As we close the chapter on 1960, let's continue our historical exploration into 1961, a year that witnessed groundbreaking changes and dramatic world events. January 3, 1961, the United States severs diplomatic relations with Cuba, marking a pivotal moment in Cold War politics. January 5th, Italian sculptor Alfredo Fioravanti confesses to forging Etruscan terracotta warriors, shocking the art world. January 20th, John F. Kennedy is inaugurated as the 35th president, ushering in a new era of American leadership. January 28th, Supercar debuts in the UK, pioneering family sci-fi TV filmed in Super Mario Nation. February 4th, the Portuguese colonial war begins in Angola, a significant conflict in African colonial history. February 9th, 1961, the Beatles' first performance at the Cavern Club marks the beginning of a legendary music career. March 1st, President Kennedy's establishment of the Peace Corps symbolizes a new approach to international aid. March 13th, the discovery of the genetic code through the PolyU experiment opens new frontiers in biology. April 12th, Yuri Gagarin's orbit around the Earth on Vostok 1 heralds the era of human space exploration. April 17th, the Bay of Pigs invasion, a pivotal event in U.S.-Cuba relations, begins. May 5th, Alan Shepard's spaceflight on Mercury Redstone 3 makes him the first American in space. May 15th, South Africa's withdrawal from the Commonwealth signals its deepening isolation over apartheid policies. June 4th, the Vienna Summit, featuring talks between Kennedy and Khrushchev, highlights the complexities of the Cold War. July 1st, 1961, German Titov orbits the Earth on Vostok 2, continuing the Soviet Union's space endeavors. October 5th, Breakfast at Tiffany's hits the screens, becoming an iconic film of the era. December 1st, the Netherlands New Guinea raises the Morning Star flag, transitioning to West Papua. October 31st, Hurricane Hattie's devastation in Belize City underscores the power of natural disasters. December 11, 1961, America's official entry into the Vietnam War marks a significant escalation in the conflict. December 15, the sentencing of Adolf Eichmann for Holocaust crimes brings a sense of justice to a dark chapter in history. December 19, Go as liberation from Portuguese rule adds to the decolonization narrative of the era. As 1961 fades into history, we venture into 1962, a year replete with space achievements, geopolitical tensions, and societal transformations. January 1, 1962, Western Samoa gains independence from New Zealand, joining the growing list of new nations. February 20, John Glenn's orbit aboard Friendship 7 marks a significant U.S. achievement in the space race. March 2, Wilt Chamberlain's record-breaking 100 points in a single NBA game sets an unmatched standard in sports. March 18, the signing of the Evian Accords ends the Algerian War, granting Algeria independence from France. 
May 1st, the opening of the first Walmart store in Rogers, Arkansas, signals the rise of a retail giant. June 3rd, the tragic crash of Air France Flight 007 near Paris reminds us of the perils of aviation. June 25th, the Engel v. Vitali Supreme Court ruling against school-sponsored prayer in public schools marks a key moment in the separation of church and state. July 2, 1962, France officially recognizes Algerian independence, closing a tumultuous chapter in colonial history. July 10, the Telstar satellite's launch heralds a new age of live transatlantic television broadcasts. August 5, the untimely death of Marilyn Monroe in Los Angeles leaves a lasting impact on popular culture. August 6, Jamaica's independence from the UK adds another nation to the post-colonial world. September 12th, President Kennedy's inspiring, Moon, speech at Rice University sets a bold vision for space exploration. October 1st, Johnny Carson's debut as host of The Tonight Show begins a legendary career in late-night TV. October 1428-1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis, a tense standoff between the US and the Soviet Union, brings the world to the brink of nuclear war. November 7th, Richard Nixon's loss in the California governor's race marks a turning point in his political journey. November 20th, the resolution of the Cuban Missile Crisis eases global nuclear tensions. December 8th, the Game of the Century in NCAA basketball showcases the growing popularity of the sport. December 10th, Lawrence of Arabia premieres, setting a new standard for epic cinema. December 24th, Cuba's release of Bay of Pigs invasion participants for humanitarian aid demonstrates Cold War complexities. 1962's events have left an indelible mark on history. Now, let's continue our voyage into 1963, a year marked by pivotal moments in civil rights, global politics, and human achievement. January 11, 1963, the Mona Lisa's first exhibition in the U.S. bridges art and culture across continents. January 14, George Wallace's proclamation of segregation forever in Alabama highlights the deep-rooted racial divides in America. February 8, the maiden flight of the Boeing 727 ushers in a new era of commercial aviation. March 18, the catastrophic eruption of Mount Agung in Bali results in over 1,100 deaths. April 10, the sinking of the Thresher submarine is a sobering reminder of the risks of undersea exploration. May 15, 1963, the final Mercury mission with astronaut Gordon Cooper exhibits the progress and ambition of the U.S. space program. June 11, Ditch Quang Duke's self-immolation in Saigon dramatically protests the persecution of Buddhists in Vietnam. June 12, the assassination of Medgar Evers in Mississippi exposes the dangerous climate for civil rights activists. June 16, Valentina Tereshkova's journey into space aboard Vostok 6 shatters gender barriers in space exploration. June 26, 1963, Kennedy's Ich bin ein Berliner speech in West Berlin becomes a symbol of Cold War defiance. July 26, the Skopje earthquake in Yugoslavia causes widespread devastation and loss of life. August 5th, the Partial Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, a major step toward nuclear disarmament, is signed by leading world powers. August 28th, Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech during the March on Washington becomes an enduring symbol of the civil rights movement. September 15th, the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing in Birmingham, Alabama, tragically claims the lives of four young girls, highlighting the violent opposition to racial equality. October 9th, the Viant Dam disaster in Italy underscores the potential dangers of human engineering. November 2nd, the official dedication of the Arecibo Observatory, the world's largest radio telescope, marks a milestone in astronomical research. November 22, 1963, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy in Dallas shocks the world and leaves a lasting impact on American history. December 10, Zanzibar's independence from the UK represents the ongoing shift in the post-colonial landscape. December 26, the Beatles, I Want to Hold Your Hand, release in the U.S. signals the start of Beatlemania. As we bid farewell to 1963, a year marked by profound political and social upheaval, our historical journey brings us to 1964, a year equally rich in significant events that continue to shape the global landscape. January 11th, the U.S. government takes a historic stand on public health as Surgeon General Luther Terry declares smoking hazardous to health. January 29th, the Winter Olympics in Innsbruck, Austria, commence, showcasing global athletic prowess. March 8, Malcolm X, a prominent civil rights activist, makes a life-altering announcement, severing ties with the Nation of Islam. March 14, the aftermath of President Kennedy's assassination continues as Jack Ruby is found guilty of killing Lee Harvey Oswald. April 20, 1964, Nelson Mandela, standing trial in South Africa, delivers his iconic, I am prepared to die, speech, a defining moment in the fight against apartheid. 
May 1st, Dartmouth College witnesses a technological breakthrough as the first basic programming language is successfully run on a computer. June 12th, Nelson Mandela and seven other anti-apartheid activists receive life sentences, a testament to the harsh realities of their struggle. June 21st, the tragic fate of civil rights workers Schwerner, Goodman, and Cheney, found dead in Mississippi, highlights the dangers faced in the fight for civil rights. July 2nd, President Lyndon B. Johnson signs the Civil Rights Act, marking a monumental step in the battle for racial equality in the United States. July 27, 1964, the Vietnam War intensifies as the U.S. increases its military presence, sending an additional 5,000 advisors to South Vietnam. August 2, the Gulf of Tonkin incident marks a pivotal escalation in U.S. involvement in Vietnam, leading to far-reaching consequences. August 28-30, Philadelphia streets bear witness to the simmering racial tensions of the 1960s, erupting in a significant race riot. September 24, the Warren Commission concludes its investigation, asserting that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone in President Kennedy's assassination. October 10, Tokyo hosts the Summer Olympics, a symbol of post-war recovery and international unity. October 14, Martin Luther King Jr.'s dedication to nonviolent resistance against racial injustice is recognized as he receives the Nobel Peace Prize. October 17, 1964, China enters the nuclear age, conducting its first test and joining the ranks of global nuclear powers. November 3, the U.S. presidential election sees Lyndon B. Johnson secure a landslide victory over Barry Goldwater. November 21, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, an engineering marvel and the world's longest suspension bridge at the time, opens in New York City. As we leave 1964 behind, a year marked by pivotal civil rights advancements and space exploration, we step into 1965, a year that would further define a generation. January 2nd, the New York Jets signed Joe Namath, making sports history. February 21st, the assassination of Malcolm X shakes the civil rights world. March 7th, 1965, Bloody Sunday in Selma highlights the ongoing struggle for voting rights. March 8th, the U.S. escalates its role in Vietnam, marking a turning point in the conflict. March 20th, Poupe de Sare, Poupe de Sun, wins Eurovision, showcasing pop culture's diversity. April 28, U.S. troops intervene in the Dominican Republic, reflecting Cold War tensions. June 3, 1965, Edward White's spacewalk symbolizes America's advancing space capabilities. July 14, Mariner 4's Mars flyby opens new frontiers in space exploration. July 16, the Mont Blanc Tunnel, a marvel of engineering, opens. July 30th, the Medicare Act, a milestone in U.S. healthcare, is signed. August 6th, the Voting Rights Act, a cornerstone of civil rights legislation, is enacted. August 19th, the Frankfurt-Auschwitz trials bring justice to Holocaust atrocities. August 11th, 1965, the Watts riots in Los Angeles expose deep racial tensions. September 30th, political turmoil in Indonesia leads to a major anti-communist purge. November 8-9, the creation of the British Indian Ocean Territory and a major U.S.-Canada blackout highlight geopolitical shifts and infrastructure vulnerabilities. November 28, Lyndon B. Johnson's assertion of American success in Vietnam reflects the growing divide over the war. December 9, a Charlie Brown Christmas debuts, becoming a cultural icon. As we transition from the tumultuous year of 1965 into 1966, the world continues to be a stage for significant political changes, scientific breakthroughs, and cultural shifts. January 1st, Colonel Jean Bidel Bacasa seizes power in the Central African Republic through a coup. January 3rd, Upper Volta experiences political upheaval with a military coup dethroning President Maurice Yamiogo. January 17th, in Nigeria, a military coup deposes Prime Minister Abubakar Tafawa Balewa. February 1st, 1966, East Germany's release of 2,600 political prisoners in exchange for West German donations signals the complexities of Cold War politics. February 3rd, the Soviet Luna 9 spacecraft makes history with the first controlled soft landing on the moon. February 7th, a pivotal meeting between U.S. President Lyndon Johnson and South Vietnamese Prime Minister Nguyen Sao Ky. February 23rd, Syria's political landscape is altered by an intra-party military coup. March 26, 1966, protests against the Vietnam War sweep across the United States, signaling growing discontent. April 3rd, Luna 10 becomes humanity's first object to orbit the moon. April 18th, China's significant decision to halt economic aid to Indonesia. May 6th, the Moore's murders trial concludes in the UK with Ian Brady and Myra Hindley's convictions. May 15th, Indonesia and Malaysia end their confrontation, signaling a diplomatic resolution. May 28th, 
Cuba's Fidel Castro declares martial law, emphasizing the island's turbulent political climate. June 5, NASA's Gemini 9A mission marks another step in the space race. August 5, 1966, the Beatles released their groundbreaking album, Revolver. August 18, the Battle of Long Tan becomes a notable episode in the Vietnam War, with Australian forces claiming victory. September 13, the commencement of China's Cultural Revolution, a period of vast political and social upheaval. November 29, the SS Daniel J. Morell tragically sinks in Lake Huron. December 6, 1966, the Binh Hoa massacre during the Vietnam War underlines the conflict's brutal nature. December 15, the world mourns the death of Walt Disney, a pioneer in the entertainment industry. December 19, the establishment of the Asian Development Bank, a significant step in regional economic cooperation. December 22, Rhodesia's unilateral declaration of a republic by Prime Minister Ian Smith, defying international opposition. 1967 heralds a year of cultural celebrations, groundbreaking discoveries, and intense global conflicts. January 1st, Canada kicks off its centennial year with the Expo 67 World's Fair, celebrating a hundred years of confederation. January 5, 1967, Charlie Chaplin's final film, A Countess from Hong Kong, marks the end of an era in cinema. January 8, the Vietnam War escalates with the beginning of Operation Cedar Falls. January 15, anthropologist Louis Lakey announces a significant pre-human fossil discovery in Kenya. January 15, the Green Bay Packers triumph in the first AFL-NFL World Championship game, a landmark in American football. February 2, the formation of the American Basketball Association reflects the evolving landscape of sports. February 5, NASA's Lunar Orbiter 3 launch furthers lunar exploration. March 4, Queens Park Rangers' victory in the English Football League Cup showcases the unpredictability of sports. March 17, The Grateful Dead's debut album heralds a new era in music. March 18, 1967, The Torrey Canyon oil spill, one of the world's most devastating environmental disasters. April 9, The maiden flight of the Boeing 737, a significant advancement in commercial aviation. May 1, Elvis Presley and Priscilla Beaulieu's Las Vegas wedding becomes a pop culture sensation. June 5, 7, 1967, Israel's military actions in Operation Focus and the capture of East Jerusalem alter the Middle East's geopolitical landscape. July 4, the British Parliament's decision to decriminalize homosexuality marks a milestone in human rights. September 4, the U.S. Marines' Operation Swift in Vietnam reflects the intensifying conflict. October 8, the capture and execution of Che Guevara in Bolivia ends the chapter of a revolutionary icon. October 25, 1967, the British Parliament passes the Abortion Act 1967, igniting debates on women's rights. December 3, Christiane Barnard performs the world's first human heart transplant, a medical breakthrough. December 11, the unveiling of the Concorde supersonic airliner symbolizes technological progress. December 15, the collapse of the Silver Bridge in West Virginia underscores infrastructure vulnerabilities. As 1967 fades into history, we prepare to enter 1968, a year marked by profound political movements, tragic assassinations, and groundbreaking achievements in space exploration. January 5th, the Prague Spring begins, signaling a thaw in the political climate of Czechoslovakia. January 23rd, North Korea's capture of the USS Pueblo escalates tensions during the Cold War. January 30th, the Tet Offensive in South Vietnam marks a turning point in the Vietnam War. March 8th, the Polish political crisis of 1968 sparked student protests and governmental anti-Semitism. April 4, the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. in Memphis sends shockwaves across the U.S. and the world. April 11, the Civil Rights Act of 1968, or Fair Housing Act, is signed into law by President Lyndon B. Johnson. May, Paris and France are paralyzed by student protests, leading to a national strike. June 5, the assassination of U.S. presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy in Los Angeles stuns the nation. July 9, the 1968 Major League Baseball All-Star Game marks a historic indoor event. August 20-21, the Soviet-led Warsaw Pact invasion of Czechoslovakia crushes the Prague Spring. August 22-29, the Democratic National Convention in Chicago is marred by protests and police confrontations. September 6, Swaziland, now Eswatini, declares independence from the United Kingdom. October 2, 1968, the Tlatelolco massacre in Mexico City highlights governmental repression of student protests. October 11th, NASA's Apollo 7 mission, the first manned Apollo mission, advances the space race. October 16th, Tommy Smith and John Carlos Black Power salute at the Mexico City Olympics becomes a symbol of civil rights protest. 
November 5, 1968, Richard Nixon's election as U.S. President marks a significant shift in American politics. November 20, the Farmington Mine Disaster in West Virginia results in 78 minor fatalities. December 10, the International Conference on Human Rights in Tehran begins, focusing global attention on human rights issues. December 24, Apollo 8's orbit around the moon is a monumental moment in human space exploration. The crew's safe return to Earth three days later is celebrated worldwide. As 1968 draws to a close, a year indelibly marked by seismic shifts in politics, civil rights, and space exploration, we turn the page to 1969. This new year would prove to be another landmark chapter in the tapestry of global history. January 20th, Richard Nixon is inaugurated as the 37th President of the United States. January 30th, the Beatles give their last public performance on the roof of Apple Records in London. March 2nd, 1969, Soviet spacecraft Venera 5 is launched to Venus. March 17th, Golda Meir becomes the first female Prime Minister of Israel. April 4th, Dr. Denton Cooley implants the first temporary artificial heart. April 14th, the 41st Academy Awards Ceremony is held. Oliver, wins Best Picture and Cliff Robertson, Best Actor. May 18th, Apollo 10 launches, a full, dress rehearsal, for the Apollo 11 moon landing. June 28th, the Stonewall Riots begin in New York City, marking the start of the modern gay rights movement. July 16th, Apollo 11 is launched, carrying the first men to the moon. July 20th, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin become the first humans to walk on the moon. August 9th, followers of Charles Manson murder actress Sharon Tate and four others in Los Angeles. August 15 to 18, the Woodstock Music and Art Fair is held in upstate New York. September 2nd, Ho Chi Minh, the president of North Vietnam, dies at the age of 79. September 24th, the trial of the Chicago 8 begins, related to charges of conspiracy during the 1968 Democratic National Convention. October 29, 1969, the first message is sent over ARPANET, the precursor to the Internet. November 10, Sesame Street debuts on PBS, changing the landscape of children's television. November 15, 1969, a quarter of a million protesters stage a peaceful demonstration against the Vietnam War in Washington, D.C. November 19, Apollo 12 astronauts Charles Conrad and Alan Bean land on the moon and conduct two moonwalks. December 1, the United States holds its first draft lottery since World War II. This was a short exploration of the 1960s. Comment to suggest new timeline. Like and follow for more.